Stuck in them 20 something. I Okay, first off, I just want to say thank you for making my last video um, explode, truly. It's, it's still going viral, it's still doing numbers. It's at 38,000 views and it almost reached 1,000 subscribers. Never made it. No, for real. Um, I really appreciate it everyone that looked at that video watched that full video you know you gave your opinions you gave me some advice and things like that what i do want to say to most of the hate comments or the people talking about my major or they was like oh you know you chose a major in the arts and you thought that was going to do something did you look up the pay rate for your major and da -da 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 -da? all that bs right um for most of the men because i would say it was mostly men commenting that I would say you can suck my <laughs> because how I feel with that first off to people that do not major in any of the arts you probably do not have a lot of intelligence or a lot of knowledge when it comes to the arts right because you're not really interested in it let me just tell you for anyone that major in anything in the creative, whether that's music, whether that's art, whether that's theater, they're actually the best employees to work with because we have all around skills, okay? I found out I'm a really good salesperson. I can probably sell you anything if I really wanted to because I have those persuasive skills, do you understand? I can play pretend. Um, you can go into marketing, you can go into social media, management you can be an administrative assistant you can be a director there's a lot of fields to go into with the arts most people would think when i posted that video i was just talking about performing that's only one thing with this major there's a lot of stuff i can do and have done um next to people that are saying like oh you know you need to have an internship experience you don't have any internship experience first you do not know really anything about me from a 20 minute video okay i only gave some things about me in that video but i was mainly making that video to express how i was feeling in the moment um and obviously a lot of people have been feeling this way just not me i really wasn't saying oh you know i i can't find a job that's not what i was saying at all um i've done stuff again outside of theater i've actually done stuff with coding with web designing, with social media, administrative assistant. I, I do good with book work, record keeping. Okay, let them know about me. Um, and I have done, I did an internship last year, got another internship this year. Don't think you know me from a 20 minute, from a 20 minute video, because you do not. Love you. Um, yeah, so most of the people that were trying to come in and argue with people, telling them about me, and they was like, oh, you know, she don't have this, and she didn't do that, and this was... You don't know that. Okay, just watch the video and keep scrolling. To people that were giving me good advice for, like, you know, the 20s is a year of experience. You are absolutely right. Um, and I'm realizing that now. Um, and even people that was like, you know, just keep going. You're going to make it. I appreciate y'all. Hey! Yeah, but on to the video. Love y'all. Everyone, that is a fucking rap. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. So, how is everyone's day today? Y'all good? Y'all chilling? You love to hear it. Um. So I'm bringing y'all along with me 
and I'm also going to be talking to y'all because y'all seem to like videos where I'm talking. Um, I don't know how to feel about my talking videos yet because I'm not a yapper for real, y'all. Uh, I'm not a yapper for real. But I see that on most of my social media, most of my talking videos, people like to sit and listen. Um, my talking videos really do more popular than my other videos. <sighs> unfortunately. Um, not unfortunately. But... Yeah. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So I'm bringing y'all along with me. We're going Instacarting for a little bit. And I'm also going to be dropping in like some life lessons I've learned from being in my 20s. And I'm only 23. So I'm still young. Yes. But these are just some of the things I've learned. Cool. Cool. You're like fuck me, now I'm thinking you're so ugly Glad I get so lucky, to have found someone so awesome And if that one dies, I plant another seed and watch a new one rise Cause baby, I hate your wife, fuck you I love you We got the baggage, and now it's time to go drop this off It is hot in Georgia for the past couple of days. They were not playing when they said um, summertime is right around the corner. Anyone that lives in Georgia, you can probably agree with me. It's hot as heck. I even seen some stray cats that was hiding in, in the shade. That's how hot it is. This makes no sense. So, on to 24 things that I have learned since I've been in my 20s. And I say 24 because your girl turns 24 in October of this year. Lord, it's willing with all this craziness going on in the world now. Um, but first thing first, a friend, someone that is a friend to everyone, is really a friend to no one. And I say that because really their loyalty is only to themselves. They're only a friend to themselves. You cannot be friends with everyone like it's literally impossible in order for you to be friends with everyone you have to be saying little stuff here and there about your supposed friends um like there's no way you're just sitting there as they talk about me you're just sitting there silent there's no way and then you come to me with the info and you're like girl they said this and this about you and what did you say and I understand a lot of people are into people pleasing and they want everyone to like them. Everyone cannot like you. It's, it's impossible. You're going to disappoint some people. And that's okay. But yeah, if you tell me that you're nice, you know, you're cool with everyone, you're friends, everyone is your bestie, everyone is your homie, I'm side eyeing you. Next one, and I know I said this in my last video, it's okay to ask for help. Um, don't see it as like anything weak if you need help take the support if it is given to you if people are trying to support you take that help okay it will help you out in the long run and you won't really have to struggle as much and who wants to struggle number three is to let them and when I say let them I mean let them have an opinion about you let them be judgmental of you let them not like you like it is totally okay for everyone not to agree with everything that you do in life um it's totally okay for you to do things differently from another person i don't like being the same i don't like being like everyone i like to be different so it's been a whole lot of side eyes and a whole lot of you know i would have done this and i would have done i didn't ask you i didn't ask you um so yeah if you feel don't let people's opinions really hold a lot of weight in your life and i'm gonna come back to that later um but yeah let people do what they do if people don't like you if people want to change if people want to leave out of your life do not hold them 
let them go because God is just allowing something better to come into your life, I promise you. Number four, I would say listen more than you respond. And I talked about this on my TikTok video, which went viral, y'all need to go check me out on TikTok. Um, but I basically was talking about communication and how that is really the number one reason relationships fail is because of miscommunication. Um, or one, your partner doesn't know how to communicate or you don't know how to communicate. And with that, I've been learning, and it's still a learning process for me, but I've been learning to not always listen to react or listen to respond, but actually listen and comprehend what my friends or what my partner is saying. So every time they say something, it's not like, okay, let me think of a comeback to this. Let me go into defense mode and everything that they're saying, I got something to say with it. No, I actually hear them out fully. And then once they're done talking, then I say how I felt, but I feel like when people listen to respond, you miss so many things in what I said because you were instantly looking for things to use to counter in your argument. You was looking for things to debate against, right? Um, so yeah, I just been learning to listen more. Next one, as I've been telling some of my friends that are younger than me, enjoy life. Have these experiences. like. Now I do be sounding like a mother because I'm like, oh, don't do that. And, oh, you know, y'all shouldn't do that. But the way I know that now is because I lived those experiences to say like, hey, okay, that may not be the smartest move now. I had to learn through trial and error, really. So I highly believe in letting people enjoy life, do different things, um, to find out what you like, what you don't like, you can learn. It's okay to keep learning throughout life. We will not have the answers today. Live life, breathe air. Somehow I know we're gonna get there. Next point that I put in my last video was save money. Cause you never know what's gonna happen. You can save it for like rainy days, emergencies. With a lot of stuff that's going on, going on in the world now, um, stuff may start to affect our income. We already see these gas prices are high, higher than our our income, our wages. Groceries are high. Groceries is now considered luxury item. That is crazy. So, yeah, save save your money. Next thing I've learned with college and friends is you grow apart from some of your friends. Some of your friends may be lifelong friends, but people change. They go through relationships, people morals change. Um, sometimes they want different things in life and that's okay. Once my friends from my freshman and sophomore year, I think I only have like maybe two to three of those friends now and I graduated college. Um, people just want to try different things in life and it's not, it's not any beef, for real. We're not upset at each other. I'm not mad at them. I just learned that I've been changing and I've been evolving. They have too. We we want two different things in life. So we had to go on two separate paths. And that's okay. My next one that I really, really like right now for the past couple of days has been to do it scared. Um... And with it, I just want to say to anybody that's trying to start like small business, you're trying to start a YouTube channel, trying to be big on TikTok, you should stop saying, okay, I'm going to do it when maybe I move to a better apartment or I'm going to do it when I get a new job or when I start going out more because right now I'm a homebody. Stop waiting. Okay, just start doing it. And the thing is this, bitch, you think it's small. We need to be thinking big. You need to be thinking big, bitch. And I say that, and I'm a living witness of this because I literally was scared to come back on YouTube. Um, and I was like, I'm not going to have a lot of subscribers. These people have died out. Then I come back on YouTube and now I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. Do it scared. Next one for my relationship girlies, do not always go to your friends and family for relationship advice. 
okay i had to learn this i only tell my parents like a small percentage and i mean i only tell them a little bit my friends i only tell them a little bit because the moment you start telling your family and friends about your relationship and all that they got a different point of view of this person right and let's say you know you love them you're going to go back to them you just need it to vent you just need it to rant for a second now they're seeing all the bad things you said about your partner even though you're like you know it's all fine we're all good now okay accept them respect them like they can't see them in the same light that you do because you've told them all this bad so i've learned to just shut up and I will either talk about it to my partner or you can journal about it. Um, but yeah, do not tell your friends and family everything. And I say the friends part because sometimes, not gonna lie, some of your friends don't really be looking out for you in these relationships. Some of your friends wanna see you single like them. <laughs> I'm gonna just be real with you. Um, I literally was in a relationship with someone and she would go to her friends about our relationship and they would just be like, dump her go be up under someone new watch who you tell stuff to watch so watch who you tell stuff to and you never know sometimes family friends too they could be trying to get with your partner so they're listening to everything that you're saying and they're like yeah girl dump them you don't need to be with them just so they can get a chance at them be careful I had to come inside because my camera was overheating I told y'all it's hot here in Georgia. Next one is do not move somewhere for a relationship with someone you've only known for like a short amount of time. And that's really for the lesbians. <laughs> I know we love to U-Haul and stuff, but I've done it. That was the most dumbest thing I did because I truly didn't know the person I was talking to at the time. And I liked her, yes, but there was just a lot of things we didn't know about each other. Yeah. Next lesson I learned is you don't have to drink and smoke at every function. And it's okay not to be partying every day. Party in moderation. Okay, if you got friends that are like, yeah, we need to do this every day, drop them. Because that's a bad way to go in life. Life is not all about drinking and smoking. Go walk in nature. Okay, go take a day trip somewhere. Go go karting. Go skating. Go enjoy life. Okay, don't be under the influence all the time. Um, I don't lost count. I'm not gonna lie. But just bear with me. Next one. Don't trust anyone else with your life. Okay, I talked earlier about um, people having an influence on things that you do and people will have a lot of oh, you know I should have did this I would have done this if I was you Those people don't have to live With you 24 7 we live with ourselves 24 7 we come into this world alone. We're going to die alone Do not let people try to tell you how to live your life Be happy do what you want to do Sincerely KB Next lesson on these jobs, these companies do not care about you. And I realized that with the last job when I got let go. Okay, so first my thing on that, I don't really believe in giving two weeks notice because when jobs get ready to fire you, they don't give you two weeks notice. Okay, that's premeditated. And then it's just like, boom. Okay, I don't have a job now, what? But they don't give you a notice ahead of time. So why should we? Next thing I learned was that HR is not there to protect you. They are there to protect the company. For real, for real. So use the sick time, use the PTO if you want to. Do not stress yourself out for these companies because they see employees as very replaceable. Yeah. To them, employees are like a revolving door. You know, everybody needs a job, especially in today's world. Everyone needs a job, everybody needs money. So. You think you're the only one with that skill? I don't know, and employers be ready to switch you out. The moment they don't like something, the moment they're not really vibing with you, you're gone. So, with that I say live life. Do not stress yourself out over a job. Cause uh-uh. 
with that being said, it's okay to not know what's going to happen next. Um, that was the hardest lesson for me because I'm a planner, y'all. I plan everything down to the T. I need to know what's happening next week at six o'clock. If we said we're going to do something next week at six o'clock, I need to have an itinerary. Okay, or I would do it myself. But I'm not used to a lot of uncertainty in life. So when that happened, I was like, how am I going to make money? Like, I still got to pay rent and all these bills. Like, how am I going to do this? Um, and I think I got so focused on, oh, I need to know what's going to happen today. And I need to have an itinerary for um, tomorrow. Like, I was so stuck on planning everything that I wasn't really enjoying what I even planned. Um, I wasn't really enjoying anything, to be honest, because I had tunnel vision with a lot of stuff. So I've been trying to learn that it's, it's okay to be uncertain about things and it's okay to do spontaneous things every now and then. Next one to all my young adults, even some older adults to feel your feelings. And I say that, and I be quick to tell people not to look at me when I cry. But um, no, truly, you should feel you should feel your feelings. If you want to cry, cry. If you want to be sad, be sad. If you feel uncomfortable about something, say something, or just remove yourself from whatever you feel uncomfortable with. But feel your feelings. Stop trying to hide stuff. Okay, we're all humans. We all have emotions. We all have feelings. Don't let people try to tell you, oh, you know, showing feelings is weak. Or you're gay if you show feelings. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're a true human experiencing experiencing feelings. And as you should. Next one that kind of goes along with that rejection is redirection. Okay. Um, as you all know, in my field, in my major, I hear a lot of no's before yes. So I'm kind of used to it when people are like, no, this isn't going to happen. Or no, I didn't see that you were quite a fit for this job or this position. I'm I'm used to that. I don't really take no's as like, oh, I don't have any skills. I don't have any talents. I'm worthless. I just see it as, okay, there's probably a better opportunity for me coming up. Nine times out of ten, it is. Sometimes you have to hear some of those no's and get a lot of those no's in order to be somewhere better. That's how I see it. If you ignore red flags, okay, let me just say the lesson I, the next lesson I learned is you can't ignore red flags for long. Like I tried talking to some people that I knew wasn't good for me in life. I knew we weren't going on the same path and I kept trying to keep them around in my life. And with that, if you keep trying to ignore red flags or you're like, oh, you know, it's white flags, it's pink flags. God is going to remove them from you. And it's usually like in a in a very bad way if you want to keep ignoring the signs. Um, and yeah, every time I kept trying to go back to these same people, God, it, it just kept getting worse. I promise you, like my heartache just kept getting worse every time I tried going back until I was like, all right, I get it. And with that, my next lesson that I learned is you cannot change anybody. We are not Harry Houdini, okay? We are not magicians. Um, if a person tells you who they are, believe them. You cannot make someone that isn't ready to settle down in a relationship, someone that is telling you like, yeah, you know, I just see this as like sneaky link type vibes. I don't see myself getting with you. You cannot change a person's mindset. Even though their actions may be a little different, if they said something to you like that, or they're like, you know, I don't deserve you, believe them. You can't change anybody. No matter how many times you want to, you gotta let them go. If they don't align with what you want. The next lesson I learned was, girls are weird. And I say this as a girl. But no, for real, I recently went to like a kid back and my friends who are girls, we are so chill. We are very chill, laid back, humble. We talk to anyone, you know, if we see that you're alone, we go and talk to you to make you feel like you're not alone. 
But when I was around these girls, it gave very much stuck up. Or like, it, it was kind of like they thought they were mistake your guy or whatever. And yeah, they were just doing the most. Like I never seen boy crazy girls like this. And I think that's really my thing. I can't really deal with people that are, I can't really deal with girls that are boy crazy because there's so much more to life than a man and his Peter Wacker. So why is that the only thing you want to talk about? I don't know. And most of the girls that I see that be given that attitude or trying to give mean girl vibes, they don't even, they, they don't even be that good looking. Like not to sound like a man, but they truly be like a five out of 10. Please. Back on track though. Um, let's go back to friends. So I learned that like-minded people make long lasting friendships. I have friends around me who are trying to do big things. They have big dreams. They like traveling. They like going on trips. It just make it just makes things so much more smoother for me. I'm not really scared of like throwing new ideas to them because I know nine times out of ten they're pretty open to it. I don't have to put on a personality for them because we all kind of act the same. So yeah, be around some people that are very with you, very like-minded with you. It makes life better, friendships better, everything is just better. It's okay to say no. I'm still also learning this one because I feel like a lot of people <laughs> try to threaten you like if you say no and stuff, but no, have your boundaries. Set your boundaries. If I say I'm not vibing with something, if I say I don't want to do this, it's probably for a good reason and I'm going to stand on that. So yeah, don't feel like you gotta tell people yes or don't feel like, oh, I gotta do this because they're higher up, they're older than me. Bump that. If it's a boundary that you feel is going to be crossed and you feel uncomfortable with it, say no. They'll be okay. Okay, I got three more, y'all. Don't look up to influencers and celebrities. I recently had a dream, which is, this is going to sound weird, but I had a dream. And at the end of this dream, I was kind of like, why do people really like idolize influencers and celebrities? They're people just like us. Why, why would I compare and contrast my life to yours and say, oh, this is what I want. Um, oh, they're living the dream that they're just humans like us. Like they're not doing anything different for real. But yeah, I, I don't think they're really doing anything different. Um, yeah, I, I just see influencers and celebrities as humans like us. They're still learning, but life just as we are learning. They just got the influencer or celebrity tag. That's it. Last two. Um, you will never find peace from someone who destroyed your peace. Take with that what you will. And the last one is comparison is the thief of joy and I still battle with this I know a lot of young people battle with this because now we got social media and you competing with these girls that's showing revealing clothes and naked is the new end like you're competing with so much stuff this new beauty standard where well, the beauty standard is always changing but yeah we see relationships that are doing well people going to take vacations vacations out of the country and it's like oh I want that oh I want to be like them oh I want to do that and then we start beating ourselves up because of what we see on camera and on social media. You notice those people are only showing you a small percentage of their life. Don't be fooled now, because what looks good on camera is not always good. So yeah, remember that we all got our own life. We all got our own path. Some may get there faster than others, but that doesn't mean it's the end for you. We're still living and vibing in this world. Love y'all. Um, yeah, and I'll see y'all in the next video.